Hi, Raikia. And um, let me just start off by saying that this is not a series. I did do a Deadpool drawing last week of Deadpool and Gwenpool. I thought it came out great, better than what I expected. But in the interim, I saw a video of Jack Septicai and Mr. Ryan Reynolds was so kind as to be on his show. And he had a short little interview with him while he was playing Deadpool. And I thought, why not combine two of my favorites? So I did a sort of realistic, kind of realistic drawing of um, Jack Septicai and Septicai Sam with Deadpool in the background. And let me show you. Okay, I'm lifting up the book a little bit so that you can see I drew very, very soft outlines uh, just to get a basic idea of where everything must go. Um, now, I have to point out that when I drew Jack Septicai, I was actually trying very, very hard to do it as realistically as possible. But I am not a realistic type of artist and I still have a lot, a lot to learn. Um, it's actually kind of funny. A, a couple of years ago, I've uh, been commissioned to draw um, a picture of uh, Daryl from The Walking Dead. And it was the first time in a long time that I tried to draw something realistically. And I didn't do a very good job, but it was kind of good and anybody could see that it was supposed to be Daryl back when his hair was it. Um, and then afterwards, many years later, I've tried to draw an Aquaman um, of uh, Jason Momoa. Jason Mo oh, whatever. <laughs> and uh, I and I couldn't get it right. It looked ridiculous, unrealistic. It didn't even look like him. And now I've tried Jack guy. Now, I have to point out that I tried five times before I got this semi-right. And each time it was a huge flop. And then finally I first traced his face using my cell phone, tracing it on a piece of paper. And then when I got that sort of right, I said, okay, now... Because I've got a little bit of a muscle memory going, I could try drawing it freehand again. And that's what you're seeing now. Um, yes, he, his hair looks <laughs> like brown grass <laughs> at the moment. But don't worry about it. I'm going to fill it in a little bit. Um, doing my layers as usual. As you can see, I started off with the lighter colors and then putting it in the shadows. And with these hair as well, I did the exact same thing, just layering it and layering it and layering it and layering it until I was satisfied with the outcome. Um, I think I could have still done better. I uh, hope you guys don't judge me too badly. Like I said, I'm not used to it. But um, this is actually, I think, his profile picture on uh, Twitter at the moment. Uh, that's where I got the reference photo of. Um, like I said in my introduction video that I was drawing a Deadpool video again with my two favorites and I really enjoyed the fact that Ryan Reynolds uh, was on Jack Septicai's show while they were playing the Deadpool video game. Um, I decided to make his shirt blue because he does like his blue hoodie a lot but I did not draw him with the hoodie on. Uh, just a blue shirt because I thought it would be a nice contrast for the red suit of Deadpool. I suppose I could have tried to have drawn Ryan Reynolds there, but um, let's face it, he's famous for his Deadpool at the moment. And I thought since they were playing the Deadpool video game, that this would make for a pretty cute picture. Um, I like the way. <laughs> I like the dimples of Jack the guy. He's got the cutest dimples ever. Oh, I have to point out another little fun fact. When uh, my darling daughter watched, um, when my darling daughter watched Jack, Jack the guy, on the YouTube videos, um, 
she started off by mostly watching him play Minecraft because she was into playing Minecraft a lot at the time and I did not like what she was watching. I said to her, his voice is irritating and his way is way too much. Of course, she convinced me to watch one or two of his videos and now, now I can also say that I like Jack Sitka. Um, I don't know... I, don't, I also don't think I did very well with Deadpool's mask here. I don't know why. I, it didn't quite come out the way I wanted it to come out. Um, the reference... The reference photo that I used of Deadpool standing there with these heart-shaped fingers in the front, um, I wanted it to look like he's looking over Jack's shoulder. That's why I changed it a little bit, the angle, um, so it can look like he's semi-looking down, while looking over Jack's shoulder putting his shoulders around Jack's with the little heart. Let's just call it the start of a beautiful bromance, shall we? <laughs> um, I tried to give it a little bit more texture than the previous time that I drew Deadpool. Uh, made, tried to make it look a little bit more leathery, the eyes and his shoulder pads and his, his, um, stuff in the front. Stuff in the front. You see now using my words again. Here we go again, people. Here we go again. Um, but I also tried to put in a little bit more texture into the suit. Um, because the material... I, I, I saw some amazing art of Deadpool. I mean, truly amazing art. And I know my art doesn't come even close to some of the wonderful drawings that I have seen of him. Um, I will have to point out Lethal Chris because that man is an amazing artist and he can work with textures the way I just got but I have tried my best and I didn't think it came out too bad anyway we're whispering to, to each other yeah I'm not going to mention what she wants me to mention now I'll mention that on another panel so I'll just leave the suspense hanging there <laughs> once again I tried to use four different shades of red in his suit because the Colleen's layers so nicely and it blends so nicely I don't know what do you guys think of my jacket do you think I did a relatively good enough job? Can you at least see it's him? I hope so, because I tried really hard, but I have to practice. Now, I said in one of my previous videos that I would really, really love to uh, do calligraphy more and get into some nice artsy writing and calligraphy, but now my brain is jumping around like a spring bean. What's a spring bean? <laughs> a spring boinky. What's a spring boinky? <laughs> a jumping bean. <laughs> I think it's a jumping bean. Because now I want to do more portraits, more realistic portraits. Oh, FYI. Um, I, I'm just at the very end of this video. I'm going to put in there a quick drawing um, of Jessica. Oh, Jessica. Um, Emma Stone. My little girl, Sintashe, drew her very first actual portrait, a realistic portrait. And because I was drawing a realistic Jack Septic guy, and let's face it, it's her favorite, she did try it sort of, but I don't think when she started drawing it that she was really into it. And this morning, she did a, a realistic portrait of Emma Stone. And for her first attempt of a realistic portrait, I think it came out pretty decent. So, I'm just giving a quick little shout out here and say that I'm going to include the Emma Stone portrait she drew at the very end. Just quickly, if you want to stay tuned and see. I tried to make the hands and the uh, shoulders, I, w I wanted the shadows to be prominent. I hope it 
came out not too bad. I think actually his hands is a little bit too small. What do you think, my trusty editor, Shaky? Do you think his hands are big enough? Mm, yeah, maybe not too bad. I could have done better. I should have done better. But I tried so many times. Ah, yes. And then I drew a quick picture of Septicai Sam because what is Jack Septicai without Septicai Sam? It needs to be there. I wish I had a post plush, but I don't. But it's okay. I tried to put in the red veins on the outsides and I used two different greens. A lighter green in the inside. I I didn't draw the circles using anything. It's uh, freehand circles that I drew for the eye. Um, part of the reason for that is, well, first of all, I wanted it to look semi-realistic, and um, I decided that um, freehand is the best way to go. <laughs> Shaky says it's cute. I didn't know what to do for the background this time, so I decided to just drew a draw, to just draw a, a slight shadow on the background um, on edge, so it can look like the shadow is on the right hand side and the light is coming from the left. And this time I didn't go over with my fine liners. I just put some fine liners on his head and used my white gel pen for some touch-ups and to make the highlights stand out but I did not go over the entire picture with the fine liners because I thought that will break down the realism that I was trying to get here. I know it's not photo perfect but it's not too bad and then I signed it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I don't know how many of you guys like to watch Jack Septic guy when he plays his video games, but it's great fun. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed what you were seeing, and leave some comments if you feel like it. I'm all for constructive criticism. Love you guys, and uh, yeah, goodbye. <laughs>